Hi there, this is Emily from the Oil Region Library Association. Week two of Summer Quest is here and we are creating our own fairy garden. So in this video, you're going to see a time lapse of me creating components for my garden from scratch and placing it all together. You can see right now that I'm painting a lot of popsicle sticks and I'll get to that in a moment. First, I want to explain what a fairy garden is. So a fairy garden is a miniature garden filled with structures and plants meant to lure fairies and good luck to your home. You're only limited by your imagination for this project. There's so many different components that you can make yourself or buy to use for your garden. You can use real or fake plants depending on your preferences and where you're going to put your garden. I really wanted to show everyone how you can make your fairy garden with items you can find around your home. So I had a ton of popsicle sticks at home, so I made most of my structures out of those. So what I'm doing on screen right now, I'm painting popsicle sticks to use for the different structures that I am making to put in my garden. So now you see I have some bamboo skewers that I'm painting and those are going to be used to make some chairs. So you can see now I'm starting to cut some of my pieces. Um, I wanted them to be a little bit shorter because I am making a fence out of these brown pieces. So I have the hot glue gun out just gluing the smaller pieces onto a longer piece and then you can see on the side of the screen there I've made my first fence piece. So there you go, there is my finished fence piece. So I got some cardboard out because I'm using that to add some stability to the walls I'm making. These yellow popsicle sticks that I'm using are going to be a little house. So there are so many different ways, so many different materials that you can use to actually create pieces for your garden. You don't have to make a house, you don't have to make fences, you don't have to make any of the things that you're seeing me make here you can make whatever you want out of whatever you want, whatever you have around the house. I just happen to have, again, lots of popsicle sticks, so that's, that's what I used. Coming up here in just a second, you're going to see the finished house outside in a little plot of garden. So now I'm moving on here to create something else. I am making a small ladder. I'm using the bamboo skewers for these. Just cutting them into little pieces and carefully gluing them together with the hot glue gun. So here's my finished ladder, just leaning up against a rock. 
So now I'm moving on to creating some chairs. Now this was a really challenging part to make. There's probably better ways to make chairs for your garden, but this is what I came up with. So I'm cutting the bamboo skewers, I'm piecing them together, gluing them together carefully, putting the legs on, and you'll see here I have a piece of twine and I'm going to wrap that around the frame that I made to make a sort of cushion. So you'll see up in the upper right hand corner of the video there are a couple finished chairs up there. So I saw some cute ideas online on how to make some tables for your chairs. I saw some people taking corks and taking a bottle cap and gluing the bottle cap on top of the cork and the bottle cap serves as the tabletop. So coming up in a second here you're going to see the finished chairs out in the garden. You'll see I used a terracotta pot upside down as a table. You'll see in another picture that I used the little plastic thing that comes in the middle of your pizza that kind of looks like a table as an actual table. So then I went outside. Luckily I had a bunch of sticks laying out in the yard. So gathered those up, gathered some rocks. And you'll see I'm going into the shed and got a lot of terracotta pots in there. So I grabbed a couple more to use. So this is just a little little accent piece that I made. It's just a little campfire. So I just took some sticks from outside and a little bit of twine, tied it around the top, and there's my little campfire. I think what I'm making now is probably the favorite, my favorite component that I made for my fairy garden. So I'm taking a terracotta pot and I'm taking a bunch of the sticks that I got out in my yard and I'm gluing those around the outside of the pot. This is turning into a little wishing well. So I'm starting on the other side now. You'll see I have two longer sticks on either side that stick up and I'm going to put another small branch going across. So there I'm gluing that other piece on and then I'm gonna take some twine and wrap it around there. And then I'm gonna take another piece and hang it down from the middle so it looks like a line to hang a little bucket down into the wishing well. So I'm painting more popsicle sticks again. I thought of something else that I wanted to make for my garden and it involved more popsicle sticks. So here I am again, painting more popsicle sticks. So you see I'm gluing some pieces together now. This is turning into a bench. So I'm making the seat part now. That's gonna be glued right onto the front underneath those two other pieces that I already laid across. Now I'm putting the front legs on. And I wanted the legs to be a little bit longer so I could stick it down into the dirt so it would stay in place. So that's why the legs look a little weird but they are stuck down into the dirt. You can see there my finished bench. So now I'm outside. I'm putting some of the components that I have out into an existing space that I had outside already. This is right behind a little plot of garden that I have out in my backyard. So we have a bunch of flowers 
planted in front of here surrounded by rocks but this is a little green space with a bush right behind it and I thought this would be a nice place to play around and arrange some of my pieces. So there are other ways that you can decorate out front of your little fairy garden like if you have a house um, you can use rocks to make a path leading up to the front. Um, you can use other types of rocks you maybe paint them blue or if you have some decorative rocks that are already a bluish color you can run those through to make a little river so you're going to see a few pictures here of how i ended up arranging everything i used the little ladder against the rock so you can climb up from the flower garden into the little fairy garden space here. You can see the fences and the house. Um, there's my wishing well next to the house and the bench. So here I have a container, a little pot that I'm putting some of the pieces in just to show you what that might look like. So I'm putting down some floral moss along the edges to add some green space, some grass. Um, I have some decorative rocks that I put out front for a path. I have some fake succulents that I put in there. And the small ladder that I made. And the campfire I just put down there. So you don't have to use fake components um, for if you're putting it into a smaller pot like this. You can for sure use real dirt, real flowers, real everything. But this is just what I had on hand and decided to do. So you'll see coming up here is a picture of how these pieces look arranged in the container. And I decided to do another version of this as well. So you'll see here I am taking apart what I did there a little bit and putting my favorite wishing well in the center. Just arranging it a little differently. How this one turned out is my favorite way that I arranged all my pieces. I really, really loved this wishing well that I made and I really liked how this one turned out. So you'll see coming up here a finished picture of how, how I arranged this particular iteration of my fairy garden. So have fun with this. Don't be worried about it being perfect or too elaborate. Just whatever you want to create for your fairy garden is going to be wonderful. And we would love to see pictures of any fairy gardens that you might create. So you can share those pictures with us at Orla Libraries on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Thanks for watching.